everyone and welcome to this business training.com video module on SEO PR search engine optimization public relations so first let's go over a quick definition search engine optimization PR is essentially SEO used for PR initiatives and efforts this may not be a term you've heard before but that doesn't detract from its importance in your PR plan a COPR has a whole field of specialists ready to optimize your content for you, but you can also do this on your own, especially if you already perform SEO activities elsewhere online. Now, search engine optimization is something that um, many companies already do on their own and don't realize it, but search engine optimization is something that needs to take place with a purpose and um, really to encourage the traffic of your website and uh, search engine optimization can really be a great tool to use uh, in addition to PR. Search engine optimization can really apply to any activity you do online which is related to increasing your web traffic. While it takes time to get used to integrating SEO efforts into your regular everyday web copy creation activities, it soon becomes second nature. For the most part, SEO can be a natural occurrence that websites and press copywriters are somewhat unconscious of. Now, keywords are picked up in the copy of your blog post or press release that weren't really put there intentionally. The difference though with SEO, as I mentioned uh, a few seconds ago, is that you put the keywords there with intention. Now again, SEO is essentially, um, or SEO PR rather, is essentially just search engine optimization used for PR. What this entails is that you work to implement SEO tactics into your PR copy, which can include press releases, interview scripts, articles, blog posts, social media updates, ebooks, whatever you're writing, um, SEO PR can definitely be used there. But why use SEO PR? Well, SEO is something you can do on your own, something that you can become good at as time goes on. More importantly, if your PR is already being done online, you need to be optimizing your content to get the greatest reach and really increase the awareness of your target markets. Now, shift your SEO skills to your PR writings. There's a lot of tips on integrating SEO into web publications, blogs, and websites online, uh, especially on our businesstraining.com blog, Public Relations Blogger. The key to having success in these areas, though, is to be consistent, very cognizant of what you're doing, and to monitor your traffic to see if your efforts are paying off. And um, really ensure that you pay attention to what's going on. Being aware of what happens is really the best way to show... Uh, maybe company executives who make decisions or to show your shareholders that you are making an effort that your PR um, efforts or initiatives are paying off and really take the time to measure the success of your efforts. You can do things like use Google Analytics. There are other analytic tools that you can use as well, but you can also measure success by you know followers on Twitter, which can be somewhat uh, of an arbitrary number. Um, you can also figure out how many fans you have on Facebook. There's a lot of ways to put this into context, but search engine optimization and search engine optimization for PR is something a little different than simply getting Twitter followers. However, with uh, things like Google Analytics, you can really track your SEO efforts and really track where you were successful. This can also show where you were not successful and where you can improve in the future. So really utilize these free tools like Google Analytics and see where you are really being strong and where you need to improve. And more importantly, take the time to reflect on that so that your next SEO PR campaign efforts will be even more successful. <laughs> that concludes our SEO PR business training.com video. I hope you've enjoyed it. To learn more about the training and certification programs that we offer, please visit our homepage at business training.com. Oh,